There we go. Brad Allen from the old guard, that's the OG. The old OG, the old guard. Awesome, Texas. Gonna come out swinging punk rock style. Let's go. Uh, that's a little style. It's always awesome to see the other gyms got their own little style, their own little place uh, yeah. they can do stuff. For sure, for sure. And welcome his opponent, AJ Barry. It's AJ Barry. In the blue corner, standing five foot seven inches tall, winging at one hundred fifty-seven point seven pounds, with a record of two wins, one loss, fighting out of Old Guard Thai Boxing Club, Austin, Texas, just Brett Allen. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, standing six foot two inches tall, winging at 157.4 pounds, with a perfect record of two wins, zero losses, one win by way of knockout. A little Muay Thai, Austin, Texas, AJ, the Whisper, Barry. Did he say the Whisper? The whisper? The whisper. All right, I'm gonna whisper in your whisper. ear. You better whisper in If he whispers in his ear and they're in the clinch, I'm gonna be like, okay, that is the whisper. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Here comes a knee. <laughs> Here we go, let's see, what, let's see how this goes, guys. Look at how long he is. Comes out in the southpaw. Oh, southpaw position, switches. Definitely nope. starts throwing right off the bat, both of them. Oh, Good. that left kick's gonna hurt. All right. Boys are jumbling up a little bit. These so boys slow need to, come. They need to calm down a little bit here. Yeah. We all do that when we first start. Good overhand though. If he can weather this storm, pushing him off the ropes, trying trying to make him bounce into that elbow. Now we've calmed down a little bit. Anthony's trying to stay long a little bit. He's getting smothered. So that's where that's a lot of times where you try to fix with the. Uh, 
the elbows. Yeah. You know, AJ needs to stay long and, and, and stay in that clinch. And stay in that clinch, because he's taller than him, you know? If he has an automatic advantage, you might as well do it. Yep, 100%. Solid elbow when he stepped in. Solid. Good that was a solid knee off of the ropes. He wants that elbow too bad, but they're a little too close. I got Jonathan Harris next to me from Texas Muay Thai Championships. Always supporting all the Muay Thai. All of us guys in Texas, we all support each other. That's how we do it. Yep, making the sport grow. <laughs> they want those elbows too, but too much. Yep. Good staying long right there. He needs to tuck his chin down a little bit though. Oi. Bunching him up, up too yeah. much. Good job by the referee at breaking that one up. Just let him go. Let him start going. Good solid knee. Step Good through. solid stepping in on that knee. These tall guys got an advantage by doing that. Now he's trying to walk him down. He's looking which for these is pretty smart. His hands are way too low. Oh, I don't know if it's time to whisper yet. <laughs> Ten seconds left. It's spinning something there. Picked it up right in the last 10 seconds. All right. First round, not a bad first round. Not bad at all. They didn't do bad, they calmed down a little bit at the end. They still had some win you know? at the end there. Yeah. yeah, still started swinging at the end. I Little mean, Woodrow's sponsor for round number two. I mean, what are you, what are you telling Brett in the corner over there, Sammy? I don't really know, to be honest with you. <laughs> You don't know what to tell him? Uh, I think he needs to keep the distance a little more and throw some overhands because he keeps his hands a little too low. Put him on his um, AJ foot. keeps his hand a little bit too low and he's playing a little bit too much. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's not going to be easy because it's very long, you know? But he has to get inside on him and make him pop that chin up and then clip that chin. Yeah. You know? yeah. And it's not going to be easy, but let's see. Let's see what he said. Brett's kind of dialing, dialing those punches a little bit more, too. He's kind of swinging the swing. Yep. Time for the second round. AJ trying to stay long here. Be a little more deliberate with his shots. There we go. He has a good left knee that, it, that, it, that it, when they step in on him, he throws it. You know, uh, Donald Cerrone has a great one like that. I seen him drop about 10 dudes in sparring one time with that whenever we were over there. Right back to the clinch, a little bit too close here. Now, on one side, the punches to the body really aren't gonna score. They're not gonna hurt your opponent either. It's also no. gonna, it's better to set the knees in. That's what we're wanting to see. Um, there he goes, see? When he comes over, his chin is a little too high, and I think that needs to be um, Brett's game plan. Yeah, I would, I would, I would definitely come in with a little bit more of the overhands and the straights. I just don't think that he should be staying here for long. Yeah. And it's he needs to go, go right back to throwing and then going over those hands when AJ's chin is a little bit too high. Hey, he tried it. But AJ's pretty good at, at keeping his distance for someone with just a couple fights. Yeah. That right overhand is there, though. It is there, and the hook's there, too. Because, you know, a lot of times tall guys get used to putting their hands out because they don't get hit. They lean back. They lean but back. A fight's different. A fight is different than sparring. Looks like Brett's oh, gonna slow up the down middle. a little bit. Yep. Not by so much power, but oh, I spoke way too soon. But he gets a little bit too close and then ends up in the clinch. Yeah. So you can't, if you bunch him up too much, you're gonna end up in the clinch with him. So he needs to stay back a little bit when he reaches and then throw. See how he yeah. let him inside a little bit he too fast? his elbow right there. Yeah. He'll, he'll look back at this video and see some of the shots that he could have landed. Like as of right now, his, uh, his hands are all in. Oh, I don't know what we got. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got... No. I don't know what No, happened. no, no, no. I what are you doing? That, I don't think what? that was a low shot. I don't know what they're doing. What are they doing? You got to start counting. You got to start counting. There's no breaks. You got to start counting. You got to start counting. If you didn't see the low blow, you got to start counting. That's 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 the rules. Yeah, I didn't see a blow the blow. There so, might have been one, but I didn't see it. Did you see I, it? If I was Brett, I would move forward and just start hammering right oh, off the I gates. would start hammering right off the bat. Because a lot because, of times, not always, but some of the times the guys well, take look, it to breathe a little if, bit. If you don't see a low blow as a ref, and you're watching very closely, if you don't see a low blow, there's no low blow. You got to keep going. Sorry. Here we go. Right back to that clinch. Brett, Brett did the right thing. Uh, you know, I think I think Brett 
got that round. I think so. I think he needs to pressure AJ in the next round, and I think he needs to put that pressure on. Put so that you say one on. and one on this one? I think so. I think yeah, it's one, so. one round to one round. Now, Brett needs to stay in AJ's tail the whole time. But he needs round. to stay inside in a range, with in a range. Out, without getting clinched and bunched yeah. up. He needs to be in that mid-range. Not far. He needs right. to be in a mid. And Just not far enough to where when AJ reaches, he can move and not get clinched, and boom, hit yep. him with an overhand yep. or a hook. Yep. Yep. Or a skip in hook, right? Yep. Uh, that's, that's my... Professional okay. opinion. Yep, and when Brett goes back and watches, he's going to see uh, AJ's hands down in the clinch. He's going to wish he had thrown the elbows a little bit more. But that's the result right him. here. But let's see if David Moore gives him the same advice in that corner. Yep. And let's see if AJ can stay long and then get him in the clinch and keep him in the clinch. Yep. So he's Last got the, round. So he's got the three tank round bout here. Him. Looks like AJ, that's exactly what he's trying to do. Right like back the to the punches. Round. Yep. Oh, he blocked his own punch with a rope right there. He was swinging so hard he went through the ropes. Good break by the ref. He should have thrown that hook to the head. Yeah, that was a good hook while well, he tried to knee. Oh, that was so close. You see where his hands were too? Yeah. See, when he gets tired, look where his hands go. He needs to walk right through that. Right, Go he into get, it. He needs to right, get inside and make him pay for that. Yeah, That's the one. That's the one right there. You got to keep your hands up, you guys. It doesn't matter if you think you're winning or not. You're going to get clipped or so. Oh, good spinning back fist, which I don't do very often, but good. Good work. AJ starts bringing it. Here we go. Good up elbow by AJ. AJ's looking for it. He's gassed. Get him. He's got. When you see a guy do that, you have to get on yeah. him. Ooh, yeah, there they go. You have to get on him. See right here. Right here, he needs to start counting. Start counting. That's a count. That a That's count. a count. That's a count. He's not getting up. That's a count. That should be an eight count. You know, uh, look, man, it's part of fighting. That's an eight count. If you if you can't answer, that's an eight count. It happened we because just of the fight. just wasted the whole round. He, he's... He's literally letting him, letting him catch his breath. He's gassed and he doesn't want to go. So let me catch my breath so I can go again. I don't do that when I rough, I'm just saying. Now he got a little more gas. Right back to the clinch, it's right, well, right where AJ wants to be. We got 35 seconds left. Let's see if he can keep it together for that 35 seconds. He caught his wind. Let's see if it goes away. Good hook. That hook. Brett needs to throw that overhand again. AJ is still fighting Stop worrying hard, about that him. kick and start throwing some big punches. He needs to throw some big bombs. There you go. That's what's going to win this. Break, you got a couple seconds left. Well. I'm not going to call anything on this one because yeah, I know who I thought should have won that fight, but um, we're going to see what the judges say and, and talk to a ref and see why he didn't call that an eight count because I would have. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's how I do it. The, the, the ref's job is to make sure that the opponent wants to be in there and that they're in a safe position, safe place. Obviously, we're not knitting sweaters. Absolutely. Um, but when you see a guy that's... You know, yeah, man, you hit the ropes, it does hurt, man. Freaking get also hit with the elbow, that hurts. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I mean, if you see a guy that even if he trips, let's say he trips, he's a trip, and he's on the ground, and you say get up, and he's taking, and his, he's time. taking his time, yep. that's a count. That's it an is eight a count. count. You should give because, him a few seconds and start counting. Because you got gassed because of the punches and kicks. Yeah. So that's an eight count. And that's my opinion on that. But there was no eight count, so let's see what the judges have to say. Let's go to the center ring. You think he, he has the, the decision? That would be a hard one for me. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not judging this one. <laughs> me too, I'm not even- Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. If you love that fight, here we go. Go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored about the same. 29, 28, all three rounds. Your winner out of the red corner, AJ the Whisper Berry. So, 
Nathan made a mistake there. He said 29-28 all three rounds. That's not true. So I think they gave um, they gave AJ the, the first round and the third round. The second round, um, 